So in today's class, we are going to solve signal and system previous year questions. These questions were asked in GATE ECE 2024 paper. First of all, I will give you all the questions so that you can try by yourself and then you look at my solutions with tricks and techniques. First question in front of your screen, very easy question from LTI system. So pause the video, try by yourself, then go to the next question. Again, easy question from Z transform. Next question is moderate level question from Fourier transform because calculation is involved. Otherwise, the concept is easy. Now, this is a good question. Then we have easy question from basics of signals that is periodic or periodic signal. And this concept is similar to the previous year paper. So if you have solved those papers, you know how to solve it, right? Because if you go by the standard formulas, it will take uh, 10 to 20 minutes to solve the question. If you know the tricks, it can be solved fast. Okay. Let us see the solution now. First question was a causal and stable LTI system with impulse response H of T produces an output Y of T for an input signal X of T. A signal X of 0.5 T is applied to another causal and stable LTI system with impulse response H of 0.5 T. The resulting output is what? A, B, C or T. Correct answer is option A. Now to solve this question, you should know some concept. The very first concept is y of t the output is convolution of input and impulse response right so x of t convert with h of t if you take fourier transform then y of t changes to frequency domain y of w and then we have x of t as x of omega convolution change to multiplication and then we have h of omega okay then the second concept is x of a t fourier transform is one upon mod a x of omega by a if you know this two concept, solving this question is easy now because what they just said is we have LTI system, we have LTI system where the input is X of 0.5 T, the impulse response is H of 0.5 T and then you have to find what is the output, correct? So output is what convolution of input and impulse response. So input was this thing convert with the impulse response. Okay. Now, if you take the Fourier transform, if I take Fourier transform of this expression, what I will get is now see, this is the form of X of a T. So whenever you have X of a T Fourier transform of that is one upon mod a X of omega by a. So use that concept, use that concept and say now one upon a, which is 0 0.5 and then capital X of omega by a, which is 0 0.5, right? Convolution change to multiplication for this similar concept one upon a and then H of omega by a. Okay. What's next? If you see carefully, this is two and this is two right so 2 into 2 is 4 2 into 2 is 4 similarly 1 upon 0 0.5 this is 2 right so the overall thing is x of 2 omega here it would be h of 2 omega so x of 2 omega into h of 2 omega okay so let me now copy this to the next slide and ask you guys that if this is y if this is y then what is this thing Sir, this thing is Y, capital Y, the frequency domain, capital Y of 2 omega, right? How do you know that? Because of the basic concept, check it out here. X of omega into H of omega is capital Y of omega. So here, if omega is replaced with 2 omega, what would be the answer of this rectangular bracket? It would be capital Y of 2 omega. Now it's time for our next step. That is inverse Fourier transform. Now, be very, very cautious while doing the inverse Fourier transform. Why? Because you have studied that whenever you have Y of A T, in that case, the Fourier transform is 1 upon mod A capital Y of omega by A, right? Now, you have this thing. You have to go backwards. So, if you have to go backwards, can I say rearranging this expression, I can say capital Y of omega by A, the inverse Fourier transform is take this mod a to the left hand side and you will get the answer so mod a y of a t 
this is what the formula looks like i hope up till now the things are pretty clear what concepts we are using if yes then the answer is what 4 into mod a okay what is the value of a don't say it is 2 because this thing is 4 into capital y of omega by 0 0.5 so the value of a is 0 0.5 understanding so don't get into the traps a 0 0.5 so mod a into small y of 80 so 0 0.5 t 4 into 0.5 is 4 into half which is equal to 2 and then we have y of 0 0.5 t this is my final answer they were asking this thing so it is present in what option a so option a is correct understood but then you have one more method okay to solve this question this is method one let me show you the tricks now method one is always lengthy approach which i don't recommend but you should know if tricks are not uh, used or you do not know then this is how the things can be solved pretty lengthy but yes the things can be solved okay you won't have any issue let us move forward for the method two how can i solve this question in seconds because this is a round one question remember the trick works only when x and h have same scaling parameters scaling parameters now what is that trick the trick is see carefully okay let me use this color x of alpha t convert with h of alpha t is equal to y of alpha t divided by mod alpha okay remember when i say this thing lhs is rhs when it is lhs is rhs when x and h have the same scaling parameter as you can see the scaling parameter is alpha t here also alpha t therefore this is the resultant straight away if that is the case what was the question they were asking therefore uh, x of 0 0.5 t convert with h of 0 0.5 t the answer is y of 0 0.5 t divided by 0 0.5 which is just two times y of 0 0.5 t straight away there is no need to do all this uh, fourier transform area uh, inverse fourier transform to get the answer no need of all those things just straight away answer understood let us move forward for the next question second question in front of your screen i am going as per the sequence of the paper given by the official iisc because uh, 2024 was conducted by iisc and they did a lot of blunder i will show you just wait a minute okay so question number 24 signal system question again for a causal discrete time lti system with this transfer function which of the following statement is or are true so now is or are true means this is what this is msq question in msq question one option can only be correct or more than one option can be correct okay correct answer is a c and d why a c d is correct and b is wrong the very first point since we have transfer function we can comment on the poles and zero and that is required poles are required to comment on the stability okay so let us find the poles how to get the poles denominator equal to zero and get the poles so to get the poles denominator equal to zero denominator was this thing equated to zero so z is equal to minus one by three and one by three now these poles are where these poles are inside the unit circle mod z equal to one because these poles are inside the unit circle system is stable therefore option a is correct okay for the minimum phase system we have to check the zeros as well whether they are inside or outside because for minimum phase system all poles and zeros are inside the unit circle so let us check the zeros because poles we know they are inside the unit circle zeros we can check by saying let us equate numerator equal to zero so when numerator is equal to zero this is what we are getting so z square is equal to minus three by two and then we are saying z is equal to plus minus root three by two iota how come sarji because i will tell you one more step is involved z is equal to plus minus root minus 3 by 2 which is plus minus root minus 1 into root 3 by 2 which is now this thing because iota is root minus 1 now you understood if you understood this calculation then root 3 by 2 is 1.5 this is what we are going to get 
if I take mod of that, so the length comes out to be 1.5 and which means that the zero is outside the unit circle. Since it is not inside the unit circle, it is not a minimum phase system. Done and dusted. Therefore, which option is wrong? Option B is wrong. Let us see now option C and D, which is nothing but the initial values and the final values. So to get that, we have to use the theorems. So now the third step is about the theorem. If you need the final value, if you need the final value, the formula is h of infinity is equal to limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 into capital H of z, right? So this is equal to limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 into capital H of z is 2 z square plus 3 divided by z plus 1 by 3 into z minus 1 by 3. Now what will happen if you do the direct substitution? If I do the direct substitution, it is not a 0 by 0 form. Wherever z is there, do substitute 1. And you will find that this overall value is a constant and this becomes 1 minus 1, 0. So answer comes out to be 0 into constant which is 0. So if it is 0, then I can surely say the final value is 0 and yes, option D is correct. What about uh, the option C? For the option C, we have to again solve it. Initial value if you need, initial value of the response which is small h of 0, it is equal to limit z tends to infinity of capital H of z directly. So here limit z tends to infinity of 2z square plus 3 the whole divide by z plus 1 by 3 into z minus 1 by 3. Now see carefully, it's a infinity by infinity form. Infinity by infinity form, there is a L'Hopital technique to be followed one way. Other way is divide the numerator by z square, divide the denominator by z square. There are two methods, right? I'm using this method. It's simple for now. So therefore, limit z tends to infinity. Numerator will become 2 plus 3 by z square. So 2 plus 3 by z square denominator. Take 1 z to this player, take 1 z to this player and do the division. So it would be 1 plus 1 by 3 z and then we have 1 minus 1 by 3 z. Now do z is infinity. If you do z is infinity, what will happen? If z is infinity, z is infinity, z is infinity, which player will become 0? Sir, uh, this player will become 0, this player will become 0, this player will become 0. Overall answer is 2 by 1 which is 2. So overall answer is 2. Now if you see the options, is it true? Yes, initial response is 2. Therefore option C is correct. Understood. So again easy question, not that tough. I told you the first two questions were easy. Now this is a moderate level question, not that tough. But if you have solved this by pausing the video in the earlier section, right? And if you have tried you might have gotten the answer a b c or d but you know what was the official answer key the official answer key of this thing was marks to all reason was 0.5 cannot be here it should be minus 0.5 so there was error in the question because there was error in the question it cannot be solved so marks to all how silly they have given this reason for marks to all because uh, a lot of students have wasted a lot of time to solve this kind of questions and then you say marks to all it's bad because after getting the answer it's very obvious that in the negative side it should be minus 0.5 it was very obvious and if you have solved you might have gotten the answer from a b c d but see they have given marks to all so if you attempt this question you do not attempt this question you mark the wrong answer still you get the free marks nevertheless uh, my task is to provide you the solution so x of t is given y of t is given if uh, capital x of f denotes the fourier transform of x of t the fourier transform of y of t is what this is what they are asking okay so what we will do is we will develop the relation y of t is what of x of t and then we will go further for the fourier transform okay let us because we can see answer in terms of y is capital x of something so relation should be developed that is the basic idea behind how to approach the question okay so now for focus on our x of t x of t is a it's a signal inverted triangular so this is x of t this is t our signal is like this correct so at this point center it is minus 0 0.5 this is 0 this is minus 1 
so first step what we will do is we will do the expansion basically what we are going to do is replace this t by t by 4 then tell me how the graph looks like whenever you do t by 4 operation what happens to the graph this is see carefully this is t by 4 okay what happens to the graph every player is multiplied with 4 so if every player is multiplied with 4 then minus 1 into 4 minus half into 4 0 into 4 is 0 and this is our graph of expansion right let us now investigate further because at the end we have to develop from this to this now you can see that we got minus 2 0 2 no we have not got minus 2 0 2 okay but we are close to that how to get minus 2 0 2 sir we can shift and we can get okay now let us shift it how you will do the shifting see carefully what i am doing here is this is our x axis this is our y axis to do the shifting i am shifting by minus 2 so it will go to the right side so if it goes to the right side see carefully so minus 2 means every player should be done plus 2 okay this is how the operations perform so minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 is 0 0 plus 2 is 2 so if that is the case this axis will be changed now to the center right see carefully this is changed to the center and then our graph 0 we got minus 2 here we got plus 2 here and this is how it is behaving now understood so first was expansion second is right shifting and if i multiply with minus 1 now it will convert to this graph check it out if i multiply this function with minus 1 so this player will become minus x of t minus 2 by 4 now okay so this is 0 this function is now minus x of t minus 2 by 4 this is our t this is 2 this is minus 2 and this is our graph right as you can see this is our y of t as per the question so therefore the relation is y of t is what uh, minus x of t minus 2 by 4 using this now you can get the answer but still to get the answer you should know some Fourier properties uh, I will write the expression but then I will tell you some Fourier transform properties okay two properties you should know first property is x of a t if I take the Fourier transform as you have seen in the first question it is 1 upon mod a capital x of omega by a okay then the second property is shifting x of t minus a Fourier transform of that is x of t Fourier transform is x of omega this minus a it will go to the exponential so e to the power minus j omega a this is what the Fourier transform looks like if you know this uh, now tell me the answer then so to get the answer we have to do step by step operation okay let us do the step by step operation check it out how, how I am doing suppose x of t is the signal then the Fourier transform of that is capital X of Omega if I do a shifting with 0.5 then what is the Fourier transform it is capital X of Omega and the exponential e to the power minus j Omega a which is 0.5 now if I divide by 4 okay X of t by 4 okay 0.5 in that case what will happen sir that a has been introduced right so but a is what here a is 1 upon 4 see carefully a is not 4 a is 1 upon 4 because this property says x of 80 so a is 1 upon 4 if that is the case then we have to say 1 upon a and then we have capital x of omega by a every omega is replaced by omega by a which is omega by 1 by 4 e to the power minus j omega is replaced as omega by 1 by 4 and then we have 0 0.5 okay so this is what we needed therefore y of t Fourier transform this is nothing but y of t right this is what okay for y of t we have minus sign also I just forgot let me place minus here and let me place minus here now I can happily say that this is my y of t okay so this is our y of t y of t Fourier transform you can see carefully which is uh, minus 4 and then capital x of 
फोर ओमेगा ई टू दी पावर माइनस जी दिस इज हाफ दिस फोर विल गो टू दी न्यूमरेटर सो फोर बाई टू इज टू सो टू ओमेगा बट सर जी दिस इज नॉट देयर इन अवर ऑप्शन देर फॉर इज इट मार्क्स टू ऑल नो 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 दे नीड इन टर्म्स ऑफ एफ दे नीड इन टर्म्स ऑफ एफ सो आई विल गिव यू आंसर इन टर्म्स ऑफ एफ डो नॉट वरी एट ऑल ओके सो वॉट विल डू नाव एस विल सी दैट दिस इज अवर कैपिटल वाई ऑफ ओमेगा इफ यू नीड कैपिटल वाई ऑफ एफ दैन इट इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर कैपिटल एफ ऑफ फोर ओमेगा इज चेंज टू एफ एंड ही आर इट दावर माइनस जे टू टाइम्स ओमेगा इज टू पाई एफ दे नीड द आंसर इन पाई राइट इन द एक्सपोनशियल दे नीड द आंसर इन टर्म्स ऑफ पाई सी केयरफुली सो ओमेगा इज टू पाई एफ इन दैट केस इफ दैट इज द केस देन द आंसर कम्स आउट टू बी माइनस फोर कैपिटल एक्स ऑफ फोर एफ ई टू दावर माइनस फोर जे पाई एफ दिस इज वॉट वी हैव गॉटन If you see now the option, you will get the option. See, C and D is wrong because minus four was there, and then here in the exponential power we have e to the power minus j four pi f. So option B should be correct, but official answer ki marks to all reason this graph was wrong. Therefore, you cannot get the answer. Sad. See how sad it is. You spend a lot of time doing all the calculations using the thought process, analysis, brains, doing all the. steps and then they are saying it's marks to all so sad let us go to the next question next question question number 48 uh, in front of a screen a uh, continuous time signal x of t is this thing 2 times cos of 8 pi t plus 5 by 3 is sampled at a rate of 15 hertz the sampled signal when passes through lti system with impulse response this thing produces an output x not of t the expression for x not of t is what abc or t 